I'm just so, so thankful that it, it, it took so much relief off of me, and I knew that the Lord was the only one that could make it happen, and and He did. And uh, any time I get down and think about, you know, uh, you know whether you know you know you lose your faith a little bit, and you think, well, gosh, you know, this maybe this ain't gonna happen. You know, you just got to go back and remember all those times He's answered those prayers, and uh, question why I even think He won't answer them. Uh, but uh, I want to thank the Lord more for in front of my church for everything He does for me. He He's so good to me, and I, I don't even deserve it. I don't even deserve it. But uh, remember my family, and uh, I love each and every one of you, and appreciate everything you all. All your prayers, you always pray for me, and, and pray for those that I ask for because I know it's working, and I know I can always come to this church, and I wouldn't. Uh, turn anything over to you and said I know you couldn't handle it and I know you couldn't get a, a prayer through so I put a lot of confidence in you and, and, and I love you a lot appreciate every one of you it's good to be here Thank you. 
cirrhosis. I never lived with it. Oh, but she had been diagnosed before. I told her, I said, you know, it's wondering what prayer can do. Yeah. I said, through God, it's impossible. He, he made this life. And he knew it. If we were just asking this. And, you know, a lot of times we forget where our power lays. Mm-hmm. It lays in the Lord. And if we don't ask him to help us, he's not going to. Because he's, uh, I, I, I hear Larry, Larry say it many times, we have not because we ask him not. Mm-hmm. So we need to remember to ask the Lord for what we want. Pray for me and my family. church member uh, Brady, Holly, and Clay. Her mom is probably not going to make it through the night. I'm just so heartbroken for for the pain that they're going to feel. But Brady asked me today just to remember, remember them.
if the Lord were to deal with you, that uh, you find a place to pray. Uh, if He gives you a little measure of faith, uh, uh, yeah, you'll still yeah. help. I, I remember the night I got saved, uh, and they wasn't a preacher there, and I was preaching a good message, and uh, there wasn't anybody there uh, trying to nudge me along, but uh, the Lord Himself, and uh, yeah, He yeah. began to deal with me, and, and I knew, uh, I just like what I said, uh, I went to bed. Say, move me if you can. You know what? You may need to come pray with me. Yeah. Oh, you may need to come pray with me. Oh, that doesn't cost you any extra. Oh, I'll charge you nothing extra for that. I, I just know how the Lord worked, and, and I know what He's done in my life, and most of the times I. I'm a perfect example of what I preach. I, I'll just put it that way. I'm a perfect example of what I preach most of the time. But somewhere down the line. Somewhere down the line. But I'm glad I, I've got a forgiving God this evening. I, I do. I do. And He loves me beyond any measure. And I'll tell you what else. He wants me to walk. He wants me to walk with him this season. Yeah. He wants me to walk with him, and I'm not talking about through my own my own strength, but he wants me to walk with him and as he leads him, guys. And I thought about a mother and maybe holding hands with her, her little baby, and, and that little baby needing some help, and, and the mother with his hands and walking with him. Well, that's the way I see me in the Lord today. All right. And I'm not the big one that's dragging him along. When we get in that shave, I'm in the wrong place, ain't I? Lord, I but I'm that little one that the Lord's helping me along. I'm that little one on my way home. On my way home. Thank God I'm going to get to go one day. I'm going to get to go. If you want to turn with me this evening to the book of Lamentations, give me just a minute for turning there if you would. Chapter 3. We start about verse number one. I thought about being miserable sometimes. I thought about suffering. And we catch you up a little bit and we understand that Judah come up a little short and, and uh, the people had been took captive and Jerusalem had been captured. And in the time of Jeremiah, but I thought about how that the Lord sent some judgment their way. And I thought about how the Lord is still sending judgment my way and your way. And now, you know, there may be some that want to argue or debate that, but I'll tell you what, the Lord still gives me guidance in my life. And, and I, I would almost dare say that He gives you guidance, whether or not you follow it or not. Uh, but I, I'm glad that He gives me guidance and I'm glad that He shows me the way and that He might give me a little judgment there. The, the Bible tells me that by the Spirit of the Lord, the, the Holy Ghost has come to reprove the world of yeah. uh, judgments, one of them. And, and I'm glad that He does. And I, I'm glad that I don't have to open up a big book of the law and, and try to find out what I've done wrong. And, and I looked at the Kentucky statutes and they'll have three numbers in a, in a period and they'll have three more and they'll have have such sets A, B, and C and all that stuff, but I'm glad today that, that, that I don't have to look at none of that to see where I come up short. I, I believe the Lord has shown me where I come up short. And, and when He does, I, I need to move for it. Praise the Lord. Need to move. Need to move. Yeah. Need to call out on the Lord. Lord, here I am. I read the turkey back there and talked about that chalk board and those. Marks on that, and I, I never got beyond that yet. Every time you, uh, a good man's got a lot of marks on his chalkboard where he asks the Lord to, to forgive him. Lord, forgive me. A man that ain't worried, he's got a clean chalkboard, don't he? In the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, 
The Bible says in verse number 1, it says, I am the man that has seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. And you think about it this morning. You, you read along or listen along with me this evening, rather. And you think about how the Lord will work in each and every one of us. And, and I'm thankful today that if you get a little look and I, I know that I'm His. Verse 2 says, And He hath led me and brought me uh, into darkness. This is Lamentations chapter 3. And in verse 2, He said, He led me and, and brought me into darkness, but uh, not into the light. And, and surely against me uh, is He turned and uh, he turneth his hand against me all the day. And, and verse 4 says, My flesh and, and my skin hath he made old, and he hath broken my bones. And verse 5, He hath built it uh, against me and, and compassed me with guile and travail. And, and he hath set me in dark places and, uh, as, as they that be uh, dead of old. And, and he hath hedged me about. And, that I cannot get out. He hath made uh, my chain heavy. And, and when I cry, listen here, uh, verse 8, it says, And when I cry and, and shout, He shutteth uh, out my prayer. And, and I thought about as we read and we, well, we pondered and we studied. I, I thought about a day that's even in my life. And, and I believe in the judgment of the Lord. And, and I believe He moved in my life. But I thought about when, it, when you get down and pray sometimes and, and not being where the Lord would have you. And, and I always say, and I believe it today, that, and that the Lord hears my prayer. No, I don't matter where I am. And whether or not he answers it or not, that's up to his good pleasure. But I thought about how the scripture said, and that he should have found his prayer here. And I thought about that. And as it was said suddenly, I told him that he'd see my cross. I thought about when you pray, and it seemed like it just didn't go anywhere. And I thought about how the Lord, I get in judgment in my life. I would thank God this season. And there's a place, and then we'll get our heart right. And there's a place, and we're going to get a man right. And may the Lord will let us come back and sit at his table Amen. with those clean hands. Oh, right. Right. With those clean hands. Well, let me read on this scene. Let me read on. Y'all pray a little while. Y'all pray a little while. And he enclosed, he hath enclosed. My ways with huge stones, it says, and he hath made my past crooked. And uh, and this is the right, I believe it's Jeremiah right in this. And, and just think about the situation in the trail that and that was they was in and all that. But he was unto me, and this is a judgment of the Lord, and he was unto me uh, as a bear lying in wait, and as a lion in secret places, and, and he hath turned aside my my ways and pulled me. I in pieces and he had made me desolate and, and I thought let's see it all oh, oh how heavy it is how joy it is that if we walk with the Lord and, and we'll try to I'll be about his business but I we were contrary to any of that I thought about how how desolate it is and, and but I'm thankful today that I think the Lord gives us a little help if we'll ask him to. Amen. He'll give us a little help. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you, uh, I'm not, as I said earlier, I, most of the times I preach, I preach from my own situation. Uh, but listen, I bet if you'd be true with yourself, you say, preacher, we've been there too. Yeah. Uh, we've been in those places, but oh, how sweet it is yeah. uh, when the Lord lets us come home. Yeah. Oh, how sweet it is that uh, when He lets us scoot back up to that table and, and we've got those clean hands after after He's cleaned them with His own blood and, and made them white and, and the crimson flow there. But ah, how sweet it is for the Lord to work in our life. Yeah. Let me read on here just a little bit. In verse 12 it says, He hath bent His bow and set me as a mark for the arrow. And I thought about that mark. And, and Nelson it, it, uh, defined that as a target. A target for the arrow. And uh, buddy, I'll tell you what I thought about Job and how uh, that that hedge was laid down there a little bit and, and all those things came against him. And, and I thought about how that uh, you and I are in a battle today and, and buddy, they so far it arts coming at us every day. But uh, if we, if we uh, keep our eyes focused on the Lord, uh, we'll all do okay. Uh, I believe we will today. But if we get our eyes off of him, we'll, uh, we'll get into this desolate place. Yeah. Just 
passage of Scripture tells us about. And it tells us about, Lord, why you better watch out? You better watch out. That's Brother Elliot Thomas once about that globe. And that lantern in that globe, how that we need to keep that that globe clean. Fourteen says and or thirteen says, uh, he hath caused the arrows of his quiver to enter uh, into my reins. And I, and I was a derision uh, to all my people and their songs all the day long. And he hath filled me with bitterness and he hath made me drunken with warm wood. And I thought about the, the, the importance of the Scripture talking about warm wood. But I looked it up. It's a bitter tasting plant and something that, that is bitter or grievous. And, and I dug a little farther in it. Uh, it's talking about the judgment when it's talking about the Bible talks about warm wood, talking about uh, the, the judgment of the Lord. And uh, you know, it's, it's bitter to us here how uh, that judgment is, but uh, baby, I'll tell you what, I, I think you and I can learn from it. And, and we'll look back like I do today to uh, those times that I was desolate as we read. And uh, we'll look back and say, Oh, I don't want to ever be there. Uh, Brother Terry, I believe, said that uh, the other day. But I don't I don't want to ever go back to where I was once upon a time. I, I want to keep my hand on the plow. I, I want to be looking toward the Lord. It'd be about His business today to be about it. Hey, I don't want to ever be out. Uh, I'll just be honest with you. This city you may think I'm a fool or, or something like that, but I'll tell you the truth, baby. I don't want to ever be out of the Lord's fellowship again in my life. If I live to be a hundred, I don't want to be out of fellowship again with the Lord. I know I can't be lost. But I don't want to be out of fellowship with Him. I don't want to be there. That's a cold place today. Lord bless. Cold place. I won't be. I won't be where you'd have me. Some folks may think it's easy. I, I believe a, a true man that that's out of fellowship with the Lord. I believe he knows it. Yeah. I, I believe he knows it in his heart. Now there's yeah. some there's some that may say a little prayer once a week and and think that everything's okay. We'll confess what we've done, and, and that's okay. But I, I don't think the Lord works that way. Well, I think He digs a man up, and He knows where He stands, yeah. and He knows what He needs to do. Yeah. And but I just can't come anytime I want to. Bless the Lord. I can't come. I come on His terms and not mine. Yeah. Uh, it's His way and not mine. It's His way today. You might be coming on His terms and. And do not be as I, I believe when we stay focused, we will keep our eyes on. See, see the old adversary with a little lust in her eye or somewhere, and we'll try to, if we get careful, we'll, we'll let that focus. Brother Larry talked about painting a pretty picture and then get you to buy that picture. But it, it'll take you farther than you want to go. Yeah. But if anyway, we stay focused on the right picture, we stay focused on the Lord this evening. But we'll, we'll never mess up if you stay focused on the Lord. That's right. Never mess up. But right. he blesses constantly every day. And, and Sister Jennifer talked about him in major prayers and doing a miracle. I mean, I, I thought about this, this, this church in the last four or five months. All the prayers that he's been point blank that, that the Lord is hatred for us. Amen. And oh, hallelujah. How many times he's worked in our house yep. in just the last few months. Oh, how many times? You know what I believe? I'm just old country preacher and I ain't very educated or anything. You know what I believe? I believe some people in here got their hearts wrapped right with the Lord. I believe some people begin to I pray to Him and, and find a lot older somewhere and, and a closet somewhere and get in that closet. Well, yeah. begin to call out on their Lord. And I believe He begin to honor all of them. Amen. If you get on the Lord, we get to see that. See that I, I know the Lord answers prayers for me that it takes me six years to, to ever look back to find out what he answered. But buddy, sometimes he'll bless us with let us see him right point like my bless the Lord. Oh. It's when, when you're right with the Lord. Prayer and fasting, the Bible says there in one spot. 
prayer and fasting, we'll, we'll all worry about not getting to eat or drink. But I tell you what, man, I'll fast a little bit. Yeah. Man, I'll find him a place to, to get down on his knees and fast a little bit. Yeah. And begin to pray it out to the Lord soon. Amen. Amen. Fast. Give him some time. Yeah. And we get time for everything else. We're going to give him some time. But Amen. Amen. Paul Wayne. Amen. Amen. You need to. Amen. I know that. I know what it is. Verse 16 says, He hath also broken my teeth with gravel stones. He hath covered me with ashes, and thou hast removed my soul uh, from peace. Far off from peace, I forgot <coughs> prosperity. And I said, My strength and my hope is perished. From the Lord, and I, and I thought about, oh my goodness, Bless the Lord. oh my goodness, I I pray that I never, I never run out of hope, and there is no reason that I can ever think of that that I should run out of hope. And no matter what falls down around me, and no matter what goes on, no matter I want North Korea or, or China or Russia or any of those do, I've got hope in the Lord this thing. It's going to be all right. Amen. He's coming looking for me one night. Amen. Coming looking for me. Yes, sir. You ready? I'll be there. Listen, when Amen. he comes, Brother Terry, I'll be there to me. He'll see to that that I'll, I'll be there. Bless him. And I'll get me. He's going to fix all that up. Oh, when I was a, a young boy, I, I thought, well, I, I might not know where north or south or east or west was where the east was when the Lord came. But buddy, I'll tell you what, when He saved my soul, I know that He's coming looking for me. I'll not have to worry about it where it is. Yeah. I'll not have to worry. He's got me on His mind. Hey, He wrote my name in His book. Yeah. Hey, He wrote it to the Lord. And as we sang, when that road is going yonder, I'll be there. He'll call my name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And, and remember my afflictions and my misery, the wormwood and the and the guile and the guile. I understand his annoyance or irritation. I believe what it was to find that. My soul hath them still in remembrance and, and is humbled in me. This I recall to my mind, therefore how I hope. It is the Lord's mercy Amen. that we are not consumed. Yeah. It's the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Hey, I'm going to make it. It's the Lord's mercy that, that says I'm going to make it. Amen. Yes, sir. Because His compassion fail not. You know, His compassion for me and you. I'm glad that He went to Calvary one day. He got compassion for me. When they put that crown of thorns on his head, he was having compassion for me. And when they was whipping with the cat and nine tails, you know what? He had compassion for me. Amen. He went there for me. He did all that. When he had the, the power in his hand to call the legions of angels, I just wouldn't even been a dusty spot if, if that's so what the Lord wanted to be. But yet, you know what? He had compassion for me. Yeah. He had compassion for you. I, I'm thankful that He knows me by name this season. Listen, let me read on. Let me read on. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. He's my portion. Therefore will I hope in Him. Amen. The Lord is good unto them that wait for Him. Yeah. To the soul that seeketh Him. Uh, it is good that a man should both listen, hope, and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Boy, I'm glad I've got something to hope in this season. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad that I do. And I, and I pray for those that may feel that they have no hope. And I've heard folks say that they had no hope in anything. But there's always hope. I am the Lord. I've got hope because He saved me one day. Amen. Now that those that are lost can have hope because knowing that He wants to save them. 
Yeah. And you have hope this evening knowing that He wants to save you. And yeah. He wants you to prosper in all things. And, and yes, you may get a little judgment when you mess up, but I believe the Lord wants each and every one of us to prosper. I, I'm not saying He's going to put a million dollars in your bank account, but I'm telling you, He's going to let you prosper. Amen. He's going to let you prosper. Money's not always... We naturally thinking we always want to put that against prospering. Hey, I tell you what, some people that had nothing can have the Lord's Spirit in their heart. Had the Lord's Spirit in their heart. Yes. Yeah. Have a song about Terry in their heart. But they're a lot happier than some of those that just won the lottery and got fifty million dollars. Yeah. And and it just goes and they have no joy in that, and it's spent, 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 spent. Trying to get a little comfort in their heart. Hey, I don't know how they can get comfort. I don't know how they can get hope. It's in my Lord today. Yeah. In my Lord. Yes, yeah, sir. That's where that hope is. Amen. Where that hope is. I, I, I'm going to read one more passage of Scripture. Oh, it's, it's a good, good piece of Scripture. And it's in chapter 5 of Luke and Mark. Very clear scripture. And I thought about how that son may not have any hope. And I thought a day in our life they might be a son that looked, looked at me and said there's no hope for him. Yeah, and I thought about this old boy in the year. And we'll start reading about chapter three, uh, verse, chapter five and verse three. And, and the Bible says he, he had his dwellings among the tombs and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, but because he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and, and the chains had been put to sunder by him, and fetters broken in pieces, and neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and, and cutting himself with stone. Uh, one of the other writers said that he wore no clothes. And, and he slept in, in those tombs. And, and but when he saw Jesus afar off, he he ran and worshipped him. And and we were going down, and we know that Jesus cast out the demon out of his life. And, and I thought, well, and as we was reading you know, in Lamentations, I thought, well, hell, that uh, maybe the people that uh, was trying to chain him, or the, maybe the people that knew him, and, and how they thought that. Uh, boy, there ain't no hope for that old boy. And, uh, he's a goner and uh, he's possessed and all these things. And, and boy, I'll tell you what, the devil reigned in my life one day. And if I was about his business, I'll be honest with you. But I uh, thank God the Lord met me one night and had an old daughter and had an old makeshift daughter. With, and when that measure of faith showed me that I needed to pray, and uh, he made me to pray this evening. But uh, listen, I got down and, and I called out on the Lord. And, and buddy, I'll tell you what, I think there was some hope there. And, and he came in and, and buddy, he wrote my name in heaven. Amen. He wrote my name there. Yes, sir. And buddy, I, I, I'm preaching today yeah. about how great that God is. And my hope is in nothing here that I see. But my hope is, as a brother sings sometimes, my hope is anchored in that blood. Yeah. That's where my hope is. If you ain't got that hope, I pray. I, I, I guess the song of meditation there, you would have If you ain't got that hope this evening, I pray that, that you get it. <coughs> Maybe that's the only hope that we really have. And I know some of you might be young and you might think of school and making money and all those things and ain't nothing wrong with any of you of that. But I think a man ought to put the Lord first in his life and uh, he ought to get things worked out with him. And uh, when he gets things worked out with the Lord, uh, all these other things, well, they're all in line, I believe. And they did it with me and I believe the Bible tells me that's the case also. Yeah. We put him first. When we talk about the judgment of God, maybe somebody in here uh, maybe maybe understands that judgment. We read a lot, I know this thing, and I understand the judgment going on to the uh, to the Jews there. But buddy, there's a there's a day. Uh, there's a day that they came back in good favor with the Lord. And you know that that's how it is with you and I. There's a day. 
that that judgment is over and the Lord gives us an opportunity Amen. to come back in that good favor with Him. Yes, sir. I don't know. I don't know anybody's going to be here. I, I just came up the road to preach what the Lord gave me. Yes. What He gave me. And, and he, I, I want to be in His favor. Uh, the, the book of Psalms says that in His favor is life. His life. And that's where I want to be. I get in that favor. I don't know what your need is. But buddy, I'll tell you what, this hope in Jesus is saving you. He's hoping him. If I was lost tonight, I'd be I'd be coming up here, I'd be wanting to pray. I'd be wanting to hit. I want that hope. I want it. I want to be able to leave out of here and say, I don't care if the mountains fall in around me, but I've got something to hope for. Amen. If I if I didn't have that, I, I don't know if I'd want to leave here to see. Him. I don't know if I want to leave. I, I believe I'm going to give it for a go. I want to give it because we know that there's a final judgment coming after a while. Amen. Final judgment. Yes, sir. How tree falls, there it's away. Yep. We know all that. That is filthy. Let it be filthy still. Yep. We understand that out of that book of Revelations. In other words, however you leave here, that's the way you're going to be. Right. Right. Yeah, I want you to have hope to see. Yeah. I came up the road on Wednesday night. And, 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 and I might be able to preach that. I, I bet you might have some hope in the Lord today. Yeah, have some hope in Him. But if you don't know Him, you see, you don't have that hope. I, I pray that you, you make your way to this altar. Yeah. You probably already know that you need to pray. Yeah. The Lord's probably already showed you that. If, if you truly need to pray this evening, I believe He has. I believe He has. So it's going to be up to you now. I'm going to ask you to stand and as they sing. Only hope is that I have here in the midst of sin. It is rendered in the blood. I pray that you, I pray that you are the Lord. I pray that you find you an altar if you're on the mountain.
But there's not one that I ever missed that I didn't know where I should be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm thankful that the Lord did not take that from me. Yeah. And I feel like the Lord's got a plan for me. Yeah. And I don't know what that is or what He sees in me, but I just feel like He's got a plan for me. Yeah. 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 Work in progress, Michael. Yeah. And uh, that bell rung before everyone got saved. Yeah. That's the part that, that makes me scratch my head. The bell rung before everyone got saved, but I knew what I needed to do. I'm, I'm glad that the Lord gives guidance, even when we don't know what. Yeah. He's trying to point to the shell before the door. Mm-hmm. Someone else is saying. Oh, I think for this is no. I think about when you were talking about the, when the Lord would hold your hand and lead you. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was thinking, and you used to, as a mother with a little child, and, and I thought about uh, when my kids were little, 
if you don't know where you live, yeah, maybe you've been for a while, they'd say, Daddy, carry me. And yeah. that's what I'm And I asked where the Lord is. Yeah. Uh, he walked with you, he didn't get me to him. Yeah. Just like the leader now. Yeah. Carry us in the times that we need in the morning. Someone else. Someone else. I'll say probably the best thing in that. You know, when you talk about that hope, I'll never forget. I was pulled up her chicken, I was standing there in my truck, and my old wife half all walked up for her, and I was lost. He just walked up for her, and he said, You know, he said, Hope I'll be laid down, and hope I'll be raised. You know, I didn't understand what he meant, but now I understand. See, that's what it's going to be for me. And it'd be for you, every one of you. And you're talking, thinking about that too. And I, me and Mike talk about this a lot, but every time I see my door closed, he'll open another door. That's the kind of father we can be served. Love every one of you. Now, like when Gifford said that, and Johnny said that, love every one of you, because that's what it did, buddy. In this church, she's growing, buddy. She's getting closer to the Lord. And I love every one of you. We're marching on for him this morning. Praise this evening, Lord. Lord. Yes, sir. Appreciate that and taste the money. Paul, I don't know if this is just me talking or not, but uh, I'd like us to have a prayer for Ginger and Terry's children and yeah. Bean and any other special requests that people may have tonight. Absolutely. Just got that on my heart for you yeah. to that. Mm-hmm. Someone else. Again, we're thankful to have each and every one of us. Thank you for our visitors. I don't think they're the visitors. They're all our people. Yes. May not be on a roll, but they all are people. Yes. Here. So we're thankful for each and every one of you. Yes. There's no other words, no other prayer request for anything. I ask you that you come into the altar. All those that can't believe you pray in each chair if you like. You've been asked to pray. Let's pray for Jennifer. Let's pray for those children. Jerry, Jennifer, Jennifer. Let's pray for all these things. Sarah, Dean, one another. One another's prayers. Well, I don't have to name everything here, Brother Gil. The Lord knows what I need for ever I have to do. Yes, amen. Part of that, knowing that bell was ringing, wondering why you know you need to be there. Lord, Lord knows what we need, don't we? Well, um, so just remember this. I'm going to ask you all to come in. All to get it with. I'm going to pray in the chair, that's fine. All to get it with. Come on in. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Get in the right line. Get a heart on him. We've been dismissed this morning. Pray for one another. Pray for church. Hey, listen. Pray for Sunday morning service. I don't know what may happen, but I know I've got hope in the Lord, and maybe He can He can make this place happen again. He surely can. Yes. Help me, stories, please. Dear Father, we come before you, Lord. We
Lord, I, I pray that they turn to you. That, Lord, they put their hope in you. And remember, Dane, Lord, as you, as you come to the Lord, you know what I'm saying, Lord, that you had your hand on you. You had a trip to make it possible, Lord, to make it easy. Lord, we pray for a church, Lord, that those that are like us, Lord, this next service that you give us, Lord, willing that we make it to Sunday, I pray that, Lord, you're being willing to meet with us. Give us the word, Lord, that we need. And, and Lord, let us deliver it to a lost and dying world. And, Lord, and be disturbed at what you with us to do, Lord. And go with us, Lord. Leave us and guide us in a way that, that you have us go, Lord. And, and let us not worry about that judgment that you give us. But uh, let us honor that, Lord, knowing that you're giving us guidance. And Lord, you love us beyond all things. And uh, so much that you sent your son to, to Calvary's cross, Lord. That we might be able to have a way. And Lord, I thank you for that. We are crazy to see for all things. Lord, thank you, thank you for the Lord. And thank you for the same the good testimony for you. Lord, I felt your sweet spirit in my services. Lord, I know with us in the weeks and months. Until our next one, God, time. Amen. Amen. Amen.